SUMA delegates met in Saskatoon this past week for their annual convention to discuss a number of issues. One of the highlights surrounded the province making a big announcement concerning PST sharing. Last year they did not fulfill their promise to introduce the full 1% PST sharing, but this year they'll go forward with that promise. One point of the PST and uh, that'll last hopefully for a very long time. Uh, certainly uh, it's something that we think is permanent uh, and should be and cities will be able to kind of bank on a certain amount of funding. The City of Swift Current will see an extra $150,000 to $200,000 for the 2011 planning year. But as Mayor Jared Schaefer explains, this funding will go into a general fund. The uh, municipal operating grant is to simply help us with our operations because we, we collect such a small portion of the, uh, the overall tax base that, that, uh, that one pays. The extra money will be put towards the daily costs of running the city. But moving forward, a general message from all municipalities at the conference was that they need more money to put into bigger projects in cities and towns. And Schaefer explains how Swift Current is in need for updated capital and in infrastructure projects. A lot of it was put in uh, 30, 40, 50 years ago and, uh, and now is uh, needing to re be replaced or upgraded. And that's, you know, things right from recreation facilities to water treatment plants to pipes in the ground, sidewalk roads, you name it. Everything uh, that's part of a community is uh, uh, certainly on, uh, on every municipality's radar. Suma has made recommendations to the government saying they should support capital projects by creating a pool of funds that would be available in 2011. And they should have a more permanent plan in place to support infrastructure for the following year. But this is something municipalities say they will continue to work on with the hopes of seeing this funding secured sometime down the line. For Southwest TV News, I'm Kara Rapke.